Hey there, how are you doing? We welcome you all to the hands-on video of the build 14367. Microsoft has last pushed Windows 10 Mobile Redstone build 14367 to insiders in fast ring. And in this video, we will first talk about the unreported changes that this build brings. We will demo them. Apart from that, we will obviously uh, do our general or regular stuff that we will take you through the navigation, we will check the performance, we will check the multitasking and we will try to share any bugs that we have seen in this build. We will also talk about our installation experience of the build. So let's begin with the unreported changes or like some interesting changes which we could see. So to begin with, one of the interesting changes uh, in terms of the quick action buttons and how they uh, currently, I mean earlier, if you uh, switch on or off these quick action buttons, you would not see anything, any message. But as you may have just noticed, as soon as you tap on that, you see on. And if you toggle it off, then it will see off. So it's a minor or small UI change, but nevertheless, it looks good. So, I mean, kind of it feels that maybe like Microsoft can bring more uh, to these quick action buttons only other than a like on or off there may be something some other message or something which can be of more use but it really is good so this is one of the major change i mean one of the unreported or new change that this build brings now apart from that if you go to cortana You can see that this what's new for you is back in last build when we demoed this was gone and you could have been directly taken to these cards but now this is back so when you go to cortana it will be back more interestingly if you go to cortana settings and now if you tap on this edit sync settings you can see that you can now control the sync settings or notification mirroring for all the apps individually which is a really good thing So you can now control which notifications are mirrored to the PC, the Windows 10 PC, which is linked with the same Microsoft account. So your Windows 10 PC and this phone should have the same Microsoft account. And now you can see the lots of notifications that you can get on your PC from the phone directly. We have earlier demoed that you can now send a message directly from PC using your phone. So you can just create a text SMS to someone. Now if you go to photos, what is back is set as lock screen and set as background. So this was very surprising uh, omission from Microsoft because these are like uh, much used features so are very convenient. To use it from the uh, I mean gallery or the photos app to set a lock screen or set as background but somehow Microsoft removed it it's back and it's really good news so these were the most uh, I mean known changes or new changes which were not there in the official change log but we could explore them and here you can see how they uh, actually work or how they look like in action. Now coming down to the installation experience for this build as we have shared for the build 14364 Microsoft has really sorted out the installation experience for these builds. Slowly we are moving uh, towards the anniversary update on July 29. So it's very uh, natural that Microsoft would like to polish the experience and it, it now looks like that Microsoft has attained a certain kind of polish um, with the installation experience. It's quite smooth. It took around 35 to 40 minutes for not only uh, one device for all of our devices and it went very smoothly. We did not have any issue with it. In case if you have issue, you can refer to our tutorial where we have or our guide where we have shared how to do it. So simple tricks like plugging it in or like doing a soft reset can help you but for us it worked quite quite well actually without any issues
now coming to how the build behaves in terms of overall uh, navigation experience daily uses so we have to say that it the, i mean the redstone builds have certain kind of responsiveness responsiveness and uh, faster performance as compared to the threshold so if you compare it you will obviously feel that i mean they have certain more like they are more fluid or more responsiveness than the build 10586 variants so <clears throat> that remains here as well you open any of the apps or etc you will see better response the faster uh, i mean opening and behavior of the apps let's send it to the background we are going to store similarly if you open anything so let's open this phone update thing so generally it will respond in a better way If you remember, we have compared uh, this Windows 10 Mobile multitasking to Android N, the latest Android N build from Google, and we could have seen that even this multitasking part that for the apps especially, it has slight edge over the Android N. So it's surprisingly, it's good actually. I mean, it's a pleasant surprise for sure. Let's go to the browser and see. The browser is really uh, improved a lot if you compare in the last builds. It really works fine. We will obviously do a bit of video play as well. Let's open a video in the YouTube because that is one aspect which uh, people like to see whether that works good or not, well or not. So let's see the YouTube one. Let's send it to the background so you could see that video watching works well. Uh, we can open one game, the most like one of the most popular games, Traffic Rider. We just see how the gaming looks like or works here. In the meantime, we can also see, okay, let's just check. So the similar kind of feeling we have on Lumia 550 uh, XL, we will also do a bit of multitasking on this device so that you can see whether it works well on 
uh, like low end device as well so here we are ready with the game oh let's send it to the background to check how the multitasking will work similarly we can just open few apps here we can also open game on 550xl so let's open the same traffic rider here as well so till the time the game opens and loads we can check the multitasking bit on lumia 640 excel okay so let's quickly see So this we have talked a lot about and you can still see that the I mean gaming resume is not as good as you can see in case of apps so somehow it looks like that the games they don't suspend properly or uh, they don't respond uh, in a way to you know resume as the apps do the apps actually resume very very well I mean very fast actually from the background while we do multitasking but not the apps so it takes time while resuming the apps and Microsoft is somehow not uh, improving this aspect and it's not about only this game we have checked it with other games as well and it remains the same so as you can see the apps resume is very very good very fast actually if you talk about build 14367 native apps it's still other resume really really fast quite impressive but if you talk about games you have to see some some kind of you know uh, lag between you know uh, trying to resume them and when they finally resume so it is something which really needs to uh, be improved on microsoft spot and this is a lumia 640 excel so we just saw that usually this build behaves quite fast actually if you talk about navigation scrolling etc it's good browsing is good you go to uh, i mean uh, you go you go to the settings the settings navigation is really fast you would not uh, find any complaints about them because they really work fast but if you talk about just only one aspect which uh, kind of boggles me is that uh, when you go to the game and games don't resume that fast i mean it should be better it has not been done yet but should be better let us quickly check it on a um, 550 xl the same multitasking because as we said multitasking is good but let's just find out it on uh, lumia 550 xl so let's try to resume this game uh, you'll see the same story actually it takes time not quite impressive let's send it to background we will open the resume the apps now and we really think that it will be quite fast so as you can see apps resume really fast so somehow microsoft has sorted out the apps but when you talk about uh, kind of like games it's always kind of it's a bit of struggle to in resuming so even like apps like maps which are usually active and they they are i mean kind of heavy apps they they resume well so there's no issue with that yeah one uh, thing that we wanted to see we wanted to show actually is let's say we go to so uh, this is one more unreported change so if from the action center you long press on a quick action button it will take you to uh, the settings for that like we uh, long pressed on battery server it take to battery server and this you see this box which kind of i mean which kind of uh, surrounds uh, this option so from battery server we went to that from location if we long press 
it says see you can again see the box so this is one unreported chain and it was interesting actually so i just wanted to show it to you so till now we just demoed the build 14367 on two devices lumia 550 and lumia 640 xl and it is generally fast actually responsive we are impressed as we said we are really uh, kind of impressed with the way the redstone builds have been quite uh, responsive for that reason they have been responsive and fast but the issue is when we uh, talk about like the game and the game resume you see a bit of issue so microsoft needs to improve that apart from that the build is fast responsive you you would not really see lots of crashes etc freeze we did not just bear remember that we need to uh, do a soft reset while there was one issue with the store so store opening so maybe like uh, as we talked about the game resume so uh, similarly with the store app uh, one or once or twice we have encountered some issue while the store would not load correctly but if you do a soft reset everything goes fine so if you talk about the build to be a daily driver it is very very close to be a daily driver quite good actually responsive and etc talking about battery life we would quickly show it to you so battery life has been quite good actually you can see on the both the devices 31 percent it says six hours with 70 percent on lumia 550 it says 17 hours so it's quite good actually so on lumia 640 xl it can easily last i mean like 24 to 26 hours in our case on in case of uh, lumia 550 it lasts for like again 20 22 24 hours so this is all from our side if you are in, if you are in fasting already you should uh, go for 14367 there is no nothing stopping it you because the build is really good in that way but uh, i mean as we said it's a, a redstone fastering build so there may be a bit of like small issues or hiccups here and there so with that we come to end of this video hope you have uh, liked it so keep watching stay tuned